Hello everybody, I hope you're well. It is a fantastic day here. As you can see, the sun is shining. We've got clear skies. It is of course awesome, or fall, and it's a little bit chillier, you can tell, wearing a jumper, but beautiful nonetheless. Now, I've just shown you loads of chateau. There are huge amounts of chateau in France and they vary from three walls just about standing um, to beautiful places uh, and everything in between. In 2015, Angelina and I decided we wanted to live in France and absolutely fell in love with the idea of a chateau, particularly a ruined thing that we could rebuild and bring back to life. And what we're gonna to show today is, I guess, the story of that, and of course, how we ended up here. France is an enormous country, and it has huge amounts of chateau in varying stages of decay, or of course, perfectly livable. We wanted something that we could bring back to life. And if you are the right mix of brave, optimistic, and ever so slightly delusional, if you have extremely deep pockets, you can buy something which is a complete crumbling wreck for pennies. Maybe 30,000 euros I've seen them for, back when we were looking. They really can be found for nothing. However, they are a complete money pit. What we wanted was something that was a little bit more structurally sound, but needed complete renovation. And eventually we did find something that we really, really, really wanted. Ticking all of the boxes with land, lake, lots of outbuildings, reasonably symmetrical as I love symmetry. And most importantly, it hadn't actually been renovated or touched since it was used as a disabled hospital in World War II, which meant we had plenty of scope to be fixing this place up from scratch exactly the way we wanted it. It has a sheet metal roof, which is to replace quite a large amount of money and work with slate and all the woodwork. The windows are non-existent in a few places and by all accounts, the inside is uh, non-existent. Floorboards, panelling, anything wooden was burnt through the winters of World War II to keep everybody warm. The property had been on the market many years ago and unfortunately the mother had died. She left it to her three children and no matter what um, was said or offered, in the end there just couldn't be an agreement between all three of them as to selling it to us. And that was really sad. We had really, really, really fallen in love with the place and all the things that we could have done with it, but can't be done, can't be helped. So we carried on looking. We even looked at something that you might have seen on YouTube around the corner, and that just wasn't for us based on its location um, in the middle of the village. So we were really, really, really lost and looked at some properly terrible, terrible places. That is, of course, until we stumbled across this beautiful little gem. We came across to look at it and it was a little bit overgrown, not short of a reasonable amount of work, but underneath the surface, there was something about this place which was just truly magical. There was something that said this was supposed to be our home and that all of the hard work and disappointment previously was leading to this. So in 2015, we called Chateau de Bayol our home and got married here in 2016 and the work has continued ever since. There is obviously a lot of work here, but it was livable straight away. It wasn't an abandoned chateau and it wasn't what we were originally searching for, but the house found us and we're ever so thankful it did. Everything worked out for a reason. Any chateau requires a lot of maintenance 
and it's never ending, no matter what condition it's in. But it's now our family home and we've got to see it through all sorts of seasons, in the good and the bad, and we get to share it with everybody else at our live music events. So I guess you could say we tried to buy an abandoned chateau and couldn't. And you know what? I'm really glad we didn't because I cannot imagine living anywhere else but here. I absolutely love it and I love everything about every single day. When you can hear it now, it's October and the birds are still singing. The sun's trying to get through the trees at the back of the garden. It's bright, clear skies. There really is something magical about being here. And I am so glad everything happened on that journey, which did, which brought us here. We are obviously nowhere near completing this place. There are huge amounts of work and I am so excited to be bringing you something very shortly because there was a video a little while back about some hidden tunnels underneath here as um, we obviously always uncover more history about this place as we go. And we found some hidden tunnels underneath it, which we are actually almost ready to uncover and get inside. So I can't wait to show you that. I can't wait to show you some of the rooms that we finished recently. And I literally cannot wait to just continue to show you the, uh, the wonderful thing about living in a French chateau. Now, hope you've all had a wonderful time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now. Thank you.